Hi, it's Michael from BMEX. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to calibrate this Profibus PA pressure transmitter using BMEX MC6 calibrator and BMEX POC6 pressure controller. In order to do automatic calibration, all we have to do is go to the documenting calibrator. There is a pre programmed position in the documenting calibrator, so let's click on that instrument there. You can see right now the two diagrams. So let me connect the Profibus PA pressure transmitter first. So as it's shown in the diagram here below. So that enables communication between the MC6 and the Profibus PA. Also what we've got here is the uh, diagram showing us that we're using the internal pressure modules. You can see which one it is. That's the one here on the, on the middle. So that's, that's also here as well. Also you can see we're going to do three point calibration at 0, 50 and 100%. And also you can see it's 0 to 2 bar or 0 to 30 PSI. So this screen explaining everything what we need to know before we do calibration. We've got everything connected so we're ready to hit start and, um, and go to the calibration screen. What you can see on the calibration screen, you've got the top left corner explaining and showing you the pressure directly that's controlled from POC6 and shared between the pressure transmitter and the MC6. Also you can see on the top right corner the Profibus direct information from this pressure transmitter and you can see error graphic limits here um, and those blue lines, they, these are the error limits. So we're ready to start the calibration. Let's hit start. So remember we're doing three point calibration. So the first point is zero. Um, so at zero it's accepting the point, the pressure is stable. You can see as soon as the pressure is stable from the POC6, M6 is happy to accept that point and move on to the next one automatically. You can see also that there is a timer. As soon as that happens, five second delay and um, accepts points and move on to the next one. You can also see that the next point is looking at its one bar. As soon as that's stable, we're going to go to next point, which is two bar. Okay, we've just reached two bar. So again, pressure is stable. M6 is happy to accept that point and move on to the next one. So right now, remember, we're going up and down. So we've just done 0, 50 and 100%. We're going back to the 50% again. Okay, we just accepted the middle point going back. So 50% is accepted. Let's go down to zero. Okay, we've just reached the last point on our three-point calibration. As you can see, we passed this calibration. You can see the errors uh, over here. You can also see that we've got four screens to go through. Let's uh, just see what, what they are. The first one is you can choose the user. You can say who actually calibrated that unit. You can also make some notes. Uh, on the third screen, you've got the graph. We saw that before, and also you've got the numbers behind the graph. At this stage, you can decide whether you would like to save or delete those calibrations. We are actually going to save that calibration, and you can choose whether you would like to save it as left or as found. So we're going to save, save it as found. So at this stage, we actually save this calibration in the memory of the MC6. We can obviously leave it here, or we can transfer it onto the CMX calibration management software. That way, we just calibrated this Profibus PA pressure transmitter uh, using the MC6 documenting calibrator and the POC6 pressure controller. You can use the same application, whether you've got the analog output, the foundation field bus or heart. All you do is just change some settings in the documenting calibrator. Thank you for watching this video and for more application on MC6, please see our other videos.